OK, and we're underway now for the under-20 men's 1,500 metres, and there's 15 competitors in this event. Um, from the inside there, Daniel Frank and Sydney Striders, Josh Stevenson from Armadale, Will North, Sydney University, Harrison McGill from Nara, Zach Facchione, Ramwick Botany, Adam Holmey from Sydney Striders, Scotty Hamilton from Kembla, Stephen Lott from Macquarie, Oliver Hoare from Sutherland, Callum Mears from uh, Macquarie Hunter, Liam Henderson from Kembla Joggers, Stephen Music from Ramwick Botany, uh, Jared Herman, Illawong and District, Matthew Scar from Mingara and Patrick Moore from UTS. And the record in this event is a cracking 3 minutes 37 set by Ryan Gregson. As they go through uh, after 300 metres, uh, field being led by Oliver Hoare and close behind him it's Liam Henderson. Uh, the good news is that uh, the current record holder, Ryan Gregson, he's on a bit of a comeback trail and he's running really well at the moment. We're looking forward some, for some more fast times uh, from Gregson. Uh, his record had set back in 2008. That was eight years ago. So the field at this stage really spread out. Spread out over about 20 metres. As they come round into the straight this time, they're going to see uh, two laps to go. All right, it's Oliver Hall still leading. One fifty one as they go through. Oliver Hall leading at this stage from Zach Facchione. And in third place it's Stefan Music from Ramwick Botany. But out front it's the Sutherland athlete and Ramwick Botany. Hall from Sutherland, Facchione from Ramwick Botany. They've broken away now by about all oh, twenty metres from the rest of the field. They're, put, they're going to have a real ding-dong battle over the last 600 metres here by the looks of it. And just for the start of this race, it's, uh, weather's broken. It's absolutely first-class conditions. A uh, bit of a breeze, bright uh, sunny uh, sunshine coming through the cloud. A bit of a headwind maybe down the finishing straight, but not much. And, of course, a brand-new track uh, out here at uh, Sydney Olympic Park on the warm-up track. So we're all looking forward to getting on the main stadium shortly. OK, and this time they'll get the bell. Uh, still leading Oliver Hoare, and he's been uh, pushed all the way by Zach Facchione. They go through in about 2.55, so it's a good pace. Not going to uh, give the record uh, any worries, but uh, a really good pace. They're now These two athletes now are about 30 metres ahead. They're really uh, pushing hard down the back straight. So it's Hoare from um, Sutherland, Facchione from Ranwick Botany. Facchione now moving up on the outside with 200 to go. Facchione takes over the lead, leaving Hall behind now. Looks just like Facchione might have got this one in the bag. He's now broken away by about five or six metres uh, from Hall. So it's Facchione from uh, Hall. They come into the finishing straight, 100 metres to go. It's the um, Ramwick Botany athlete, Zach Fac uh, Facchione. Really putting on a good show, these two. They've put on a great show right through the race. But first across the line now in the under-20 men's uh, 1500, Zach Facchione, 352.20. Second place was uh, Oliver Hall from Sutherland. And in third, the narrow athlete, uh, Harrison McGill. So that was a great race. These two uh, young athletes here pushed it all the way uh, right from the start. With uh, two laps to go, they've moved away from the rest of the field. And uh, really just ran the race uh, together. And then with uh, just 200 metres to go, uh, Facchione moved away uh, and finished up about uh, 10 or 12 metres ahead. With Zach Falciani, who's just won the under-20 men's 1500, one of the most prestigious races of the weekend. Congratulations, mate. Yeah, thanks a lot. It's a good race. Mate, how was that? It took us through the race itself. It, it looked to be quite close between the front two for most of the first 800 or so, but it kicked away a little bit at the end. 
Yeah, yeah. Well, I've raced against um, Holly before, and I know, I, know, uh, I know that he usually likes to go out hard, so I just tried to stick on him and see if I'd had anything at the end to take him. I guess I did in the end. You've been doing a bit of uh, racing against him um, for a while now. You've been getting the biscuits on him regularly, or is that an, uh, one of the first wins? This is um, the first win I've gotten on him, actually. <laughs> yep. Never can quite get him in a normal race. Well, it's a good time to do it, I suppose, in the New South Wales title. Um, I assume you're going to go after Perth for the Australian juniors? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll be in the under-20s there, just trying to chase the World Juniors qualifying time. How far away are you now? Oh, I think I'm about four seconds off, so not super close, but I feel it's doable. It's exciting times. You get a good field over in Perth on a hot track and, and see how you go. Good luck, mate. Yeah, cheers. Good on you, mate.